Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's All Me. Today, I have a very special video for you. 11 years ago to the day, March 11th, 2011, my brother and I released a video known as The Sour Buffet. It was an epic food challenge that we did for a previous YouTube channel that we used to do called Random Acts of Epicness. This video garnered about 76,000 views on that channel and was probably the most successful thing that we had done for that series. For the last 11 years, this video has sat on that channel and I thought, what a better time to bring it to a new audience than the 11 year anniversary. Now this wasn't even planned. I was looking for new content and thinking of different ideas of what to do and bring you guys this week. I had already given that thought to the Sour Buffet Challenge and I looked at the original upload date and it was March 11th, 2011. And I was like, what is the date for Friday? And sure enough, March 11th, 2022, 11 years to the day. So I'm gonna preface this video first by saying, it's 11 years old. The audio is not the best, so I, I did the best that I could to make it a little bit better, a little bit easier to hear. The place that we filmed this was actually in an industrial basement uh, underneath the retirement home that my father used to manage. And so there's boilers and loud noises in the background, and it's a really echoey basement. So I tried to contain all of that as much as possible. So there are definitely some times where the audio sounds a little tinny, or a little bit like you're inside of a can, uh, but it's definitely an improvement from the original product. Also, in this video, you will see me talking about this challenge and, and Seth asking me, you know, is this difficult? And I have this certain sense of arrogance about myself. And I come across a little douchey. So I just wanna let you know that I don't know why I'm not an arrogant person. Although I guess we all have a phase as we're growing up where we think we're like the man or something. And I always have had a certain sense of pride when it came to sour candy. I just have a high tolerance for it. And I think I came into this challenge like nobody can touch me. And I am impervious to any damage that a sour candy or a sour fruit or a sour drink can do to me. So with that said, what you're about to see is me sitting down at a table over a stretch of about 15 minutes eating crybaby bubblegum, sour Skittles, a whole lime and a whole lemon, and then drinking about a 12 ounce glass of 100% lemon juice. Now, you will hear in the video we talk about how we could not find what I believe is the best sour candy, Warheads, anywhere. Now again, this was 11 years ago. Things have changed a lot in 11 years. But at that time, we searched and searched and searched and could not find Warheads. We looked everywhere. And the comment section under the original video just rips me a new one because everyone else and their mom could apparently find Warheads. But they didn't want to accept the fact that where I lived at the time, I could not. They say that I took a shortcut, that I took the easy way out. You name it, I heard it. It is what it is. I really do not care. I'm just gonna preface it by saying there were no Warheads anywhere to be seen, so we did the best that we could to substitute. Warheads, I substituted for that with two candies. So I upped the ante the best that I thought I could with the, the Crybaby Bubblegum and the Sour Skittles. Now, 11 years later, I think there's significantly more sour candy than even those two now. But again, 11 years ago, cut me some slack here, folks. At the end, and this isn't spoilers or anything, at the end of this, I'm asked, would you do this again? And with this arrogant voice, I say, I think I could, or I think I would, or something like that. I'm here to tell you that I would absolutely not do this challenge again. And let me tell you why. What you're about to see is what turned in to one of the most painful weeks of my life. The next day after I did this, the acidity from all of the things that I consumed absolutely destroyed the inside of my mouth. The skin that covers my tongue completely shed off and I had to have all new skin grown, okay? The sides and the roof of my mouth were so eaten up by the acid of these things that I had an entire mouth of canker sores. My mouth was one giant gaping sore. So keep that in mind. Would I do that again? Absolutely not because I learned. Anything for YouTube, right? But yeah, hindsight is always 2020. And so looking back, Absolutely not. If you think that you can handle it and you wanna take on a week 
of just your mouth hurting horribly, by all means, accept this challenge, do it yourself, let me know, and I'll watch it and I'll applaud you. But for me, especially now at 34 years old, I know a little better. But anyways, I digress. Let's jump right into the video. Here is the Sour Buffet. Y'all ready for this? This is the Sour Buffet. Here are the rules. Sour Skittles instead of say warheads is because no one sells warheads anymore. So if anyone knows where we can get warheads, let us know. We also have others to things too. Yeah. We got a whole lime and a whole lemon right there. is 100% lemon juice. These show the crab babies. Oh wait. Crab babies? Sour skittles. These are our substitutes for the warheads. Alright. One minute starts when you put them in your mouth. We'll be timing them. I hate it. Was it sour? Not sour? Not for me. For the general people out there, would it be sour? Yeah. I think people struggle to eat three of those. I can't eat one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Start unwrapping your gumballs. And we have lemon. And what's it say on the package about an adult can barely get past 10 seconds? In the back of the package, we have the caution scale, crabby caution scale. Wimps give up after 10 seconds. Geeks give up after 20 seconds. Apparently killers give up <laughs> after 30 seconds. And people who are referred to be radical give up after 40 seconds. So if you make it 40 seconds, you're in the Crybaby Hall of Fame. This is a guarantee you will cry by 40 seconds. And it, there's even a warning on the... <laughs> for Yes. Um, chewing multiple pieces within a short time period may cause a temporary irritation of sensitive tongues and mouths. And I had one earlier, my tongue still hurts. So and he's doing three. Three at once, and he cannot chew until a minute. I can simply leave him stationary or I can move him around. Alright, hold on. 
When they enter your mouth, it'll start the time. like I ate spicy food. My mouth is burning. It's kind of hard to talk right now. Um, but uh, it got to the point where it was so sour, I felt like I had pieces of metal in my mouth. Oh. But, we're good. Try babies were a good choice then. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm getting hot. Like if I ate spicy food. Wow. Gum tastes good though. <laughs> it tastes like bubble gum or is mm -hmm. it fruity gum? Mm -hmm. I'll just save that for later. My tongue is on fire. I, I bet. <laughs> you gotta add more real acidics to it. Alright, now <clears throat> a lemon and lime. And let's let's eat these. We won't give you a time on it, but ready? Ready. Uh. <laughs> 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 Folks, again, that is not lemonade. It is straight up 100%. You watched me more. Juice. I guess I should have opened it in front of you guys. I swear to you, it was 100% lemon juice. If I was crazy, I'd drink the whole thing, but I ain't that stupid. <sighs> it says on the back, natural strength. Do not dilute. There's no dilution here. Oh, shake well. I didn't shake it. <sighs> Excuse me. Bottoms up. That is not good at all. <laughs> Actually, kind of tastes like blood. <laughs> I'm not lying to you at all. Well, I bit my lip and...
Champ. <laughs> now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult was that? Hold on, that last year was bad. <laughs> <sighs> um, besides the fact that I can't really feel my tongue, um, the skills are really good. Cry babies were good. Um, the lemon and the lime. Like, to be honest, I thought the candy part was going to be easier because I've eaten limes and lemons and stuff pretty easily. So you thought it was going to be harder? Yeah, I thought the candy was going to be harder. But, mm -hmm. so, I mean, you think about taking a bite of like the hottest thing, like say, you know, something like habanero or something, taking a bite and just getting a small bit of relief and then taking just another bite again and just inflamed it even more and even more and even more. That's what it was with the lemon juice, which is, oh, there's still a little bit in there. Um, but uh, as far as pain, pain wise, those last couple of drinks, probably a seven or an eight, um, but it was enjoyable. Would I do it again, probably. All right. Well. Enjoy this yum now. Peace out. See you guys.